When you think of traditional Florida, you're probably not thinking baklava, moussaka, stuffed grape leaves, heroes, and feta cheese. But that just means you've probably never been to Tarpon Springs. The charming little town on the Anclote River on Florida's Gulf Coast is only about 30 miles north of Clearwater Beach, but it seems even closer to the Adriatic, and it's about as Greek as it gets this side of Athens. This is why sponges. At the beginning of the 20th century, Greek sailors and sponge divers were recruited to come here. They helped make the sponge business the most lucrative maritime industry in the state at that time. They also brought their customs and traditions. They brought their families and they brought their food. Tarpon Springs has a population of about 25,000 and has the distinction of having the highest percentage of people of Greek ancestry of any place in North America. The sponge business is still very much here, though not as big as it once was. But the sponge docks are still the heartbeat of this community. People are still making their living on the sea. Shrimpers, crappers, deep sea fishing and scuba diving charters, and tourist excursions. You're likely to see bottlenose dolphins, manatees, and maybe a tarpon or two, the large game fish that gave the town its name. Today, there are many more tourists than tarpon. Walk along Dodecanese Boulevard. It's named after the Greek island region where many of the early settlers came from. The street is lined with shops and restaurants like Mama's on the backside of the sponge exchange. These places have been family owned and operated for several generations and it's a big part of what makes this place so special and charming. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Come to Mama's in Tarpon Springs. The best food in town. Best Greek food. Come see us. The bakeries are amazing. The aroma draws you in, and then, as if by magic, you'll find yourself saying, I'll take two of those and two of those. The same thing happens in the shops. Tarpon Springs was incorporated in 1887. The Orange Blossom Railroad arrived the next year, and so did the first wave of winter-weary northerners. The Greek influence is also felt here. St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral is the center of the Orthodox celebration of the Feast of the Epiphany in North America each January the 6th. The Orthodox faithful mark the day as the day Jesus was baptized. The week of Epiphany, the town is flooded. The Archbishop of North America comes to celebrate the festival mass. There's a blessing of the fleet, and a cross is thrown into spring by it to bless the waters and those who make their living on the sea. Teenage boys from the cathedral dive into the often chilly water to retrieve the cross and get one year of good luck. You can see more about Epiphany by clicking on the link to my video on Epiphany and Tarpon Springs in the comments section. Tarpon Springs is an easy drive from the big cities on Florida's west coast like Tampa, St. Petersburg, and Clearwater. It's also becoming a major attraction for cyclists. The old railroad tracks through town have been pulled up and incorporated into the Pinellas Bike Trail, which links to hundreds of miles of trails. Neptune cyclery owner Eddie Mullally says you can stop in the heart of town for a drink or a meal. This connects right here if you go up north here about a mile and east about seven miles. It goes past Brooker Creek Reserve and there's a north part of it now, a new part. About a year ago, or maybe two years ago, it opened up, and it goes all the way up to the to Longleaf for Starkey Ranch into Starkey Park, and then you can go six and a half miles out to Suncoast Park, Suncoast Trail, which goes all the way up to Crystal River and down to North Tampa. So there's, there, and then they're going to connect that all the way over to the other side of the state. The area is filled with quaint shops, restaurants, and galleries. A favorite stop is the Tarpon Home and Garden Store on North Pinellas Avenue, midway between downtown and the sponge docks. Lots of unique gift items here. Take some time to drive or walk around the historic district. The town was built around a series of bayous. Spring Bayou is perhaps the best known, but there are others, all leading to the Gulf of Mexico. They're popular places for dolphin and manatee spotting. You'll also find many examples of beautiful Florida Victorian architecture. Tarpon Springs is one of the most unique places you'll find in Florida, or anywhere else for that matter. 
It's like an ongoing food festival, a picture-perfect Greek village, and a lovely walkable place. It's the real deal. After a day in Tarpon Springs, there's only one thing to say after we'll be back. Opa. For time to travel, this is Phil Dean in Tarpon Springs, Florida.